Welcome back everyone, Superior Rifle Systems here. My name is Kane. I will be going over how to create a ballistic turret from home. Stay tuned. Some supplies that you will need. Obviously, you're going to need whatever scope you're going to be using. A pair of scissors, a 12-inch ruler, pen, some kind of tape, which I prefer you use the painter's tape, and some calipers. Other supplies you're going to need are laser printer or inkjet. I prefer using a laser printer. That is the type of printer that you would use in order to print shipping labels. This is waterproof and it works fantastic. I would recommend that over your traditional inkjet, but if inkjet is all you have, then by all means use it. Maybe you can laminate it, uh, make it more waterproof. Oh, you're gonna need some software, kind of like Photoshop, and you're gonna need to know how to mess with ballistic data. So on your iPhone or your Android, if you have a ballistic calculator, that's all you need to get you started. Just make sure that you have already zeroed your scope to whatever ammunition you're going to want your ballistic turret to be pr proprietary to. Okay, I'm just using the Hornady ballistic calculator because I can't record my screen on my phone, but I have my own app. I also have the applied ballistics, but just for just to keep things simple, uh, I've set it up to where the max range is going to be 600 yards. The interval is going to be in 100 yards. My ballistic coefficient for my 77 grain here is 0.367. I just do that on top of my head just to use an as an example. The velocity, 2,700 feet per second, zero range, 100 yards, and my sight height is 2.5. Hit calculate, boom. This is what I'm gonna need to make my ballistic data for my turret. Mainly looking at the range and looking at the drop in inches after it's converted to either MOA or mils, okay? So once you get these numbers, I will show you what I do to the painter's tape on the actual turret of the scope. So the next step, we're gonna to need to know what the circumference is, right? How long is it all the way around your turret? I use my calipers. I'm using the millimeters. Zero it out. Go ahead and check the diameter. So my diameter is 26 millimeters. And then to figure out the circumference, you're gonna multiply your diameter by pi and then that'll go ahead and give you the length all the way around on the outside, okay? Once you get that, you're also gonna need to know how high is it from here to here. So I'll go ahead and use the backside of my calipers. It is about 9.6. All right, so from here, we've already applied our piece of tape all the way around. From bottom to top, it's covering very good. So remember, I have it on what I've zeroed at 100 yards. If you zero at 200 yards, whatever, it doesn't matter. Zero your scope, leave it where it's supposed to be zeroed. From here, I know that this is where my zero is, okay? And I zeroed at 100 yards. So right here, I would put a tick mark. I just draw it with my pen, and I'm gonna put a one. That's telling me that that is the 100 yard mark. Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to figure out what is gonna be my drop or how much am I gonna dial for 200 yards. So on my ballistic data, I'm showing that I need to move 1.6 MOA up. So this one is two clicks per MOA. So then one, two, that's one MOA, plus, and then 0.6, boom, one more click. That right there, I'm gonna add another tick mark and I'm gonna put a number two. Boom, that's 200 yards. If you guys had a quarter MOA at 100 yards, then you would do one, two, three, four. That's four clicks and then plus half. That would be your 200 yard mark. So you guys see what I'm doing here and you do that for the entire thing. Once I have all my whole numbers, my 100, 200, 300, 400, 500 yards, how I want the ballistic calculator to break it down, I go back 
and I'll tell it, hey, give me every 25 yards. All you're doing is marking all of your ballistic data in accordance with your uh, ballistic calculator, whatever you're using. So this might look like a bunch of gibberish, but I understand what I'm doing here. But once you have it all complete on your turret, you go ahead and remove it, lay it flat somewhere, get a nice picture of it. And then from your picture on your phone, you're gonna go ahead and upload it to your computer. Once you upload it to your computer, you have to tell the computer the dimensions, right? So mine was, see how it says pixels there? I'm gonna tell it, no, I want millimeters because that's what I measured my strip with or my turrets with. It was 61.8 and then the height was 0.9 oh, and make it fit into that square. It'll look something like this. And I know that right here was my 100 yard mark. So I went ahead and put a tick mark in there. I drew a line, boom. And then 125 I knew was right here. Then my 150 was right there. Okay, this one's not complete yet but it's getting there. And then once I turn off this blue strip, the background and it's all there. Obviously I still need to put the text in there, right? Of where's the one, two, three, and so on and so forth. Once I get this done, I'll go ahead and print it out. Once I print it out on a, on a label, I cut it and I'll go ahead and apply it onto the turret the same way that I did with the blue tape, except it'll have the actual ballistic uh, strip on there and it'll look nice and neat and readable and then you'll test it so what you'll do is once you have your strip on there you'll you'll turn it turn it and turn it if it doesn't line up if one of them is off you come back to your software let's say oh well 125 had to come a little bit to the left so you go to your 125 highlight it move it more to the left and then you reprint it and you just keep doing that until all your lines are lined up ready to go but if you're very careful with your measurements, you know how to mess with these dimensions very well, uh, you should probably only have maybe three revisions at the most. So that is how I create my custom turret at home. Um, it's a little more complicated than what you probably thought, but just with a little bit of effort, uh, you can get it going, especially if you're tech savvy, you know how to mess with the Photoshop or something similar to it, uh, you'll be able to create a really, really awesome ballistic turret. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Question, comment, subscribe, like. Let us know what your concerns are, what your questions are. You can always go to my website, srsrifles.com, and uh, you know, hit me up via email. Give me a call, whatever it is that you need. I will try my best to assist you all in the name of precision. And big shout out to my daughter. She helped me out with the camera work. Say hi. Hi. Okay, keep shooting, be precise, be consistent, long range is my journey. Catch you next time.